guys welcome back to another episode of no man's sky today what we're going to be working on is getting our upgrades for our exocraft finished we have a few things that we still need to work on we need uranium and uh, there is a uranium planet in the system that we're situated in so i thought we would go check that out try to find some uranium it's actually pretty easy to um just not at space stations apparently so last episode I was going around all the stations that we did explore and um, just didn't have a really an easy time to uh, find anyone selling uranium so we'll just go mine it instead it'll save a lot of time I think so and um, while we're there we might be able to pick up some gamma roots we do have that love I think yeah we got that so we might be able to get some gamma root which is a uh, plant type so we might be able to get a little bit of that and start farming maybe I don't know I don't think we have any at the base so we'll check that out for sure but uranium is definitely the um, priority right now might get a couple nodes of that and then search for um, what do you call it some gamma roots so okay so let's see where we can find some of these we need to find uh, uranium nodes I think they're kind of yellowy so kind of like a gold color I'll we'll have to fly a little bit low to locate them but it shouldn't be too hard uh, there's gamma roots right there. Okay, let's try to find some. We can use our scanner to also locate it too. Um, but that only helps if you're like close range. It kind of displays a color for it. So we'll just have to kind of fly low and try to find it. But we'll eventually find some. We can always land too, that's always an option, and then bookmark a location. Um, well, I mean, we could do that right at the camera roots over there, and then we could do that. Yeah, I think we'll probably do that instead, because then we know exact location where uranium is. So we'll land here, grab some of this, and we'll locate some uranium afterwards. I think that would work out pretty good. Thank you. 
Great, so I harvested our farm. Uh, we got a little bit of stuff uh, from actually that. So I think the next thing that we should probably work on is getting a little bit more plants uh, set up because we have the, um, the Gecknip, that's good, but we need some more, I think, for actually planting. Now we have a few options. We could build a second level or what we could do is we could go ahead and put another one here. Uh, if we build a second level, then we can... Well, we could actually fit maybe two. Right, one right here and one right there. That would work. And that would give us uh, some more extra variety of plants as well. So I don't know what the... Um, if we've unlocked everything that we need for some of the economy stuff. So, a hundred frost crystals and two hundred sol solarium. Or sel selenium? I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> I'm not gonna try. Um, so that's like, I think you get 50 per thing for the, the red one. So that's, um, you're looking at four, I think it's four, maybe eight. Um, let me see. Two would be a hundred. So about four, I guess. So four of those and frost crystals, I think you get 50 as well. So two frost crystals to four solarium. I want to call it solarium. I'm just going to call it solarium because it's easier to pronounce. All right. So we're looking at at least two plots, uh, though we already have the frost crystals, but I want to keep some for our um, base building as well so probably needs yeah we could probably set that up I guess that would probably work uh, what do we need for that we need metal plates carbon and pure ferrite pure ferrite and then we'll have to sort out our power situation as well to upgrade for these um, new plots so I'm not sure how much I'm gonna need I'm gonna grab 200 for that and carbon we don't actually have too much of so I'm gonna have to refine that down uh, we'll do about 200 I guess that will give us oh we could do um, 125 that'll give us 250 and can't remember the third thing. Metal plates, that's right. Um, do we have any extra ones? We have two. I think we require four. So we got uh, a couple of these built and I installed two more um, solar panels. So we got a total of eight now, which is generating about 400, I think, for, I think it's about 400 during its high peak. So 400 power, um, I'm guessing kilo, a thousand power, uh, 400,000 power. 
available for um, generation. We're using 93 at the moment with the lights and everything and the uh, containers. So um, the additional power load for one of these is 20. Oh, I didn't want the uh, thing there. Uh, so I'm lo we're probably looking at... Um, 20, 100, I don't know. Uh, it's in the hundreds, I think. So 100 and something or other. I did start putting batteries over here, though. Because this is not going to be used for anything, more or less. So we can probably fit about four batteries in this particular section. And if we have to maintain it, we can just pop out the wall here and then fill it in with something else. Like, um, put it back and stuff. So, um... That way we have direct access to the batteries if we need it. Um, I still want to keep one battery at least available for the base. I'll probably keep it near the portal just so we can check it easily. But um, eventually I want to move this battery. Uh, or we could keep that battery there. That might work just fine. But when we expand for the storage and stuff, I, I don't want to have to keep going into here. So... We'll probably, when we get to this part, uh, this part for the storage, what we'll do is we'll already have the four batteries, I think, in here. And that should maintain it well. But um, I've also got the resources for a object that we unlocked a while ago, which is, well, minus the, the plate. I have the material for that, though. Um, which basically hides the electric cables. So we can hide the little wires and stuff that we place down. I was thinking about putting that maybe over here, just outside of the um, base, so it's not in the way. And that will kind of like hide the electrical wires, as you can see now, they're not showing. So, uh, unless you actually go and open up the electrical wire and then they show, so, which is really good because it would be hard to see where everything goes. So, I started running wires underneath the floorboards so we could basically get. Um, it a little bit easier and neater for the thing and then we're not running it along the top of the wall here uh, that way it's underneath the base so I think that's what we're gonna be continuing doing is just fixing up some of the previous parts of the base and then so we got quite a bit of stuff done today we got a lot, a lot of logistics stuff um, the wires are all set up now for down below um, they're they all go directly down below the floorboards 
they're all hooked up to the batteries and such, uh, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, this one isn't hooked up yet. Um, must have forgotten it. We'll do that quickly. But, um, yeah, so we got uh, the ExoCraft set up, so it's all ready for um, basically exploring, which we can do next episode for sure. And we'll be able to um, maybe locate some structures and stuff. Uh, other things that we might need are... Um, what's on this planet that we need? Uh, those little tech modules so we can start decorating our, bra our base a little bit more. Um, that's one of the things that I want to end up doing is getting, you know, some decorations and plants and stuff like that. I think I, I unlocked some plants from the... Um, from other saves on the um, Space Anomaly, so we might be able to unlock that for this save as well. Um, they should be synced across all the accounts, like all the pro like all the um, saves and stuff, so I should be able to get the trees and stuff that I ended up getting before. That shouldn't be an issue. But anyhow, uh, we got uh, the Geknip back, the... Um, what do you call it? The star bulbs, and then we got the solarium, or whatever the actual name is. <laughs> and then we got uh, the um, frost crystals. So we should be able to make one. Open up my inventory. We should be able to make one of the um, heat capacitors, which we'll be able to sell for a profit, hopefully. So. Outside of that, though, uh, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.